Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday at 6. I'm going to kind of a weekly update. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today uh, is going to be specifically something that uh, happened in Topeka. Uh, this past week, it was a day called Sine Die. Uh, this is a day when normally uh, people would, uh, the, the legislature would come back. They could override a veto if the governor had vetoed a bill. Um, they would have an opportunity to just kind of finish things up to make sure a lot of people will, that may be retiring or resigning and not coming back, um, they would have a chance to get up and, and thank people and do different things like that. But this year, Sine Die took on a completely different uh, atmosphere and purpose. Uh, the purpose of Sine Die this year turned into what I can really only call as a political circus. Um, First off, it started off in the Senate with the Senate president basically announcing that, hey, we have to, this is a one-day thing. Once midnight gets here, we have to be done. Um, as the day went on, all of a sudden they decided that that rule really didn't matter, and they changed that and decided that they could suspend a midnight rule and that it would still be considered uh, done on signy die, which there's a lot of discussion about that, that basically anything that they passed after midnight could be uh, taken to court as being unconstitutional because it wasn't passed constitutionally. Uh, so that was one huge issue. They also did, they had nine different bills that, uh, at least nine bills that passed. Six of those were what's called gut and goes. Uh, that's where they take out, of, take out the stuff that was in the bill already that had maybe already been vetted in one of the, either the House or the Senate, it had already been voted on. Uh, they just take everything out of that and they put in that bill whatever they want. And they did this in the Senate and they did this in a way that there could be no debate uh, or amendments given on any of the bills uh, in the Senate or the House. The House would actually only have a, a, a yes or no vote. They didn't even have any say, any, uh, any say in what happened because of, it would go to a conference committee and then they would do a thing called agree to disagree, which basically takes uh, two of the six members of the conference committee, their vote didn't matter. So uh, the reason I wanted to talk a little bit about this is just because that is one of the big issues in, in Topeka is the hyper partisanship, especially with the, with the, on the Republican side, on the leadership side. It's not all the Republicans. There are a lot of moderate Republicans that need support uh, and help from other moderate Republicans and from Democrats uh, to sit, to help them stand up to their leadership and do what's really right for the people, uh, not for what their leadership think is thinks is right. Um, when I was in Topeka in 1718, uh, I was with a group of over 40 uh, rookie represent representatives that came up there, and we met met every Monday. Uh, for a lunch to talk about how things were going, what we could do to support each other. Uh, there was like 42 of us at the beginning, and by the end of the session, there was still about 30 of us meeting. And that was the same session that we were able to make uh, education funding constitutional because we were working together. We also got rid of the brown back tra tax experiment, started making taxes more leveled out, uh, make it, e make it uh, a more equal footing for hardworking Kansans, blue-collar people. Um, and what that took was a group of us working together. Uh, that is not happening in Topeka. Uh, I want to get back and get that going. I, I want to be there to help make Kansas a better place. We need to recover from COVID-19. We need to work together to make that happen. Things are, Kansans always, whenever something goes wrong, Kansans are always better when they come together to work. And that is not what was on display for Sine Die. It was a, a political circus just trying to, to, to get political points. And that is not what being in Topeka and being a representative for people is about. It's not about trying to score points or trying to be uh, the person in the spotlight. It's about what's doing best for Kansans. That did not happen at Sine Die. I want to go back to Topeka and help represent the people and make sure that we're passing bills that are important to the people, not just to a few people in leadership. Uh, on that, I hope everybody has a, I hope everybody had a, had a wonderful Memorial Day. I know it was a little bit different. Uh, thanks to all the military people uh, that have given, sacrificed their, their life to, to help us 
uh, being in a country where I can do an update like this and tell you what's going on so that we can go out and do different things, that we live in this free country, and it's because of people that have given the ultimate sacrifice and uh, also wishing well to everybody in the military uh, that's out there now that hopefully uh, they make it home safely and uh, get back to their family. With that, I want to wish everybody a, a great start uh, to what summer season is after Memorial Day is usually known as. And everybody have a great June, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Remember, you can follow me uh, on Facebook on this page right here. You can follow me on Twitter at Steve Crum One. You can also follow me on Instagram now at Steve Crum One and my website crumforkansas.com. Uh, Feel free to get on there. You can sign up for I send out email updates as well. Uh, everybody have a great evening. Thanks a lot.